Hello and welcome. Now I want to talk about five ways in which minimalism has really benefited me. Now I hope that one or two of these could be good motivators for you to incorporate minimalism in some way, shape or form into your own life. So let's start with number one and probably one of the most important things that I have gained is a, sell a new a newfound sense of self-confidence. That's a mouthful. Now, I think this is important at all times in your life, but especially in sort of like your late teens, early 20s, when you're stepping out in the world for the first time, you're not quite sure who you are yet or who you want to be and what you want to do in the world and maybe what your hobbies and passions are and you're still trying to figure all that out. You are very vulnerable to like big advertisement companies that tell you you're not good enough and you're not valuable and you don't have confidence and that you don't have enough friends or you don't have whatever it is that they're preying on or whatever idea or BS that they're trying to sell you on. Um, it's yeah, it's very easy to feel like not good from those kind of things and to then therefore go out and buy those products because yeah, you haven't got your own sort of grounded sense of confidence and you're not 100% sure on what your style is or what your passions are. So for me, that was one of the biggest things as I definitely was in a consumerist mindset. But then when I started to discover minimalism, it kind of put a halt on that stuff and it sort of pushed away those crappy ideas that adver advertisement uses to yeah make you buy their stuff essentially and then it helped me to sort of focus on what does make me feel happy and what does give me confidence or whatever it is and yeah I discovered that I'm really happy with the things that I already have and I'm very happy to just go out um, on a night out and not have to buy a new outfit and just be happy with the clothing and things that I already have and if I am feeling like I'm lacking confidence or whatever it is I go hang out with a close friend and have a good chat or I go for a run or I do something that makes me feel good about myself and going shopping is definitely not one of those things but it did used to be because of buying into that nonsense that adverts sell you and they make a lot of money by selling you those crappy ideas. So the next thing is just having more appreciation for the things that I already have. I feel like when you're constantly stimulated by new things coming into your life, you don't have really much time to just sit there and be happy and appreciate the stuff you already have. But when you kind of put a stop on that or you at least slow it down a lot because yeah, you're not buying into consumerism, you then have all this sort of time to use and value the things you already have. And yeah, when you're not trying to fill this unfillable void with stuff, you then sort of fill it with like using the stuff you already have and if that's artistic things like watercolors or pencils you then usually tend to create more art rather than spending more time in art stores or online looking for the best art supplies possible to create art if that makes sense so that was for me a really important part is valuing what I already have now the third thing to go along with that is taking care of what you already have because as soon as you give something value and you value it, you then tend to take care of it and look after it more, which one is just a good thing in general, if it's a good practice, but it is also really good for the environment because you're making things last longer, you're not creating a new demand for more products and new things, and yeah, you're not throwing away as much, you're really sort of using up and working with and yeah, appreciating what you already have, which is awesome and keep doing it if you are doing it and consider doing it if you aren't already doing it. The next thing is feeling freedom. So number four, and this is it's very important for me. I love to travel and I have moved countries quite a few times and the first time I moved countries it was the most stressful thing ever. I had to figure out somehow I had to put my whole life into two suitcases and I ended up leaving lots of stuff at my mum's house and then I got to the airport and they would they said I had too much weight in my bag so I had to get rid of everything or get rid of a bunch of stuff to get the bags on the plane etc etc and it was just so stressful. Since then I discovered minimalism and I've then moved countries about three or four no three other times and yes it wasn't easy but it definitely wasn't as stressful in any way shape or form and I never have to worry about my stuff weighing me down stopping me from going and taking up new opportunities or whatever it might be everything fits into two suitcases and I don't have this crazy attachment to things or I'm very what's well, maybe this is another benefit bonus benefit is that 
I know what I need and what I don't need and I know what I can sacrifice and what I can't sacrifice. I remember when I was trying to move countries, I was so stressed in the airport because I had no idea what I really needed and what I really used and what was really important. And so I sort of just like panicked and got rid of a bunch of stuff. But if I had to do that now again, I would be very decisive and be like, oh, I can live without this. Okay, I need this. That's going to be important. Okay, I can get rid of this. So that's a bonus benefit for you is that, yeah, you're just kind of more clear on what is the most important things. And you can sort of, I could probably create a hierarchy of the things that I have and the needs that I have and what would match up. And yeah, like my bare, bare essentials, I could figure out what they are very quickly. So that's a bonus benefit. Now, technically number five is, of course, saving money. Everyone talks about this in any benefit of minimalism video but it is so true. As long as you're not buying into the um, aesthetics of minimalism, I know that there tends to be a bit of a trend where you declutter and you get rid of everything only to go out and paint your walls white and buy lots of things that match this minimalist aesthetic and therefore you're buying new things which obviously isn't going to save you money and some people definitely um, yeah go into like the higher quality and spend a lot of money on fancier brands because it will last longer and that is true to a degree but also if you just take care of the things you have even if they are from a secondhand store or they are from like a fast fashion company yeah they won't last as long but if you take care of things things tend to last a lot longer. I, I like to buy secondhand anyway so it does definitely save you money in the long term it just depends on I guess your attitude and how you work with it and that's really up to you anyway so thank you so much for watching please share with me any of your benefits in the comments below and yeah I will see you next time bye